I guess the whole point of today is to say, when you're doing your green chemistry analyses, when you're thinking about green chemistry uh, in the future, it is very easy and tempting to say, accidents happen. And accidents are you know, beyond design. Maybe even they're beyond analysis. And I'm trying to push on the point, that's not true. That when we talk about our analysis of, well, we're going to look at the feedstocks and the manufacturing process and the use phase and, training and the end of life and, and that nice, neat life cycle type of analyses, that these, these accidents, which are the, the so-called black swan of risk analysis, those uh, unplanned, maybe low probability events, can and often are the most consequential. Right? Um, they're, they're definitely the most consequential if you have the misfortune of being involved in them in any way. And it is up to green chemistry design to in include these and to make sure, and this is an important point, to make sure that all of the efforts toward, uh, I'll call it pollution prevention, doesn't work in cross purposes to accident prevention. So for instance, if you're saying, well, we're not going to just vent our um, solvents out the, out the hood, out the, uh, out the stack, because we're environmentally responsible. We're going to make sure that we capture those, uh, those solvents and, and recycle them. There are ways to do that very well and very thoughtfully. There are ways to do that in ways that increase your accident potential for, uh, for you know, flames, uh, uh, fires, and explosions. And so you would never want to have those working across purposes. And I'm going to suggest there's no reason to have them working across purposes.